She inherited mom's pipes and picked up a pipe of her own. And that pipe is a bong. From pot farmer to shark charmer, Olivia Newton-John's daughter has led one wild life. Most people probably think of the 1978 classic Grease when they think of Olivia Newton-John. It was certainly the star's biggest film, and it set her Hollywood career on fire. But Newton-John also enjoyed a singing career outside of movies, and she once brought her only child, daughter Chloe Latanzi, along for the ride. After she had all but formally retired in 2021, Newton-John got back in the studio to record Window in the Wall. The multi-talented star revealed why she chose her daughter for the duet, telling Entertainment Tonight, "...the only person I thought of was Chloe to sing it with me, because it was such a personal song." and it appears that Latanzi was just as happy to be a part of it. She shared of working with her mom. I was honored that, you know, out of all the people my mom could have asked, she asked me, so that meant the world to me. Not just a singer, Olivia Newton-John also appeared in oodles of films and TV shows, but there is perhaps another actor in the family. Her daughter has appeared on TV and film ever since she first started acting back in 1993. Throw another shock on the Bobby, eh? In 2017, Latanzi appeared in Sharknado 5 Global Swarming alongside her mother. And as she told Entertainment Tonight of the experience, I got to work with um, a lot of the people I've worked with before, and it's such a loving environment. The star said it was a whirlwind of a shoot, but worth the effort in the end. She added, you No, know, I had to learn my lines basically in like two days, and um, it was a lot of fun. It's very playful. Not every child of a celebrity is lucky enough to inherit their parents' talents. But for Latanzi, luck, along with chops, played a part. According to the Daily Mail, Latanzi launched her singing career when she landed her first record deal at just 15 years old. But along with a fast start, she also quickly discovered the darker side of the industry. Owning up to a history of addiction, she told the outlet, I had blackouts. I would stay up on three-day long binges without ever going to sleep. Days and weeks started to blend together. Her struggle kept her from ever finishing her first album. But in 2015, Latanzi finally returned to the studio to record new music. For many, weddings are one of the most important days of their lives. But in early 2021, Latanzi revealed to Us Weekly that though she and her fiancé, James Driscoll, had already been engaged for 10 years at that point, she wasn't in a rush to tie the knot. We're unconventional. We've been married in spirit since the moment we met. Claiming that she had a dress already, Latanzi said that they were planning to make it official sometime in 2021. But as we now know, that didn't happen. She said, We know we're soulmates. We know we're committed. We call each other husband and wife. So we're just like, okay, we'll get to the paperwork when we have time. It's not uncommon for anyone, really, these days to indulge in a little nip and tuck. And Latanzi has nothing to hide when it comes to her own cosmetic surgery journey. She's even admitted to being less than thrilled with the results. As she recalled to Woman's Day of earlier procedures, all those things were a disaster. Not only did the lip implants look ridiculous, the first boobop I had in Australia when I was 18 left me looking mutilated. I thought somehow it would make me more acceptable looking. It was ridiculous. The star had the botched surgeries corrected and now feels confident about her look. And as she said of her mom's opinion on all of it, mom supported my surgery decisions because she knew how unhappy I was before. Just because Latanzi grew up as the daughter of a rich and famous star doesn't mean she didn't have her share of troubles. And sadly, she has lived with disordered eating for a large portion of her life something that's really taken a toll on her health. I ate to sort of comfort myself. I would see comments in magazines about how I was chubby. She once shared in a since-deleted post on Instagram, I've been sobbing for an hour, feeling the collective energy of strangers all over the world weighing in on my family's problems. This life is also what I believe has made me sick. The anorexia, the depression, I've spent my life trying to please strangers. If I continue to do so, I will die. These days, Latanzi is reportedly in recovery and living a much more balanced life. Life turned upside down during the 2020 pandemic, and for Latanzi, it also allowed her to reflect on her life and what she wants to do with it. As she explained to The Hollywood Reporter, what this time is reinforced is to not get overwhelmed because you can't change the world. You can change a person's life who is standing right next to you, even in the smallest space. 
Be as kind, thoughtful, and mindful as you can, and the world won't seem so big. It all begins with you. I feel like I've just become a much better person. Latanzi has some pretty serious interests outside of Hollywood, and her legal marijuana farm might just be where she feels most at home. She and her fiancé, James, run a cannabis farm in Oregon. And considering her own preference for the natural and earthy, of course, it's all organic. She told The Hollywood Reporter, "...the most important thing for me in life is to be someone who facilitates healing and talks about plant medicine. I want to show a wide array of perspectives." Having lived with breast cancer for a whopping three decades, it's also a passion her mom embraced. As Newton John told the outlet in early 2021, "...my husband has been growing cannabis for me for a number of years, and I've benefited so much. I was able to wean myself off morphine a couple of years ago when I broke my sacrum using cannabis, and I want to let people know the healing values of plant medicine." After a time, I went, you know what? I don't know what my time is, but I need to enjoy my life, so I'm going to eat a cookie if I want it." It turns out Latanzi is also a natural in front of the camera, in every way. She danced her buns off on Australia's version of Dancing with the Stars in 2020 and reportedly enjoyed every minute. While she was eventually eliminated after her cha-cha, Latanzi pointed out that fans shouldn't have been so surprised at her success on the show. As the Daily Mail reported, she reminded everyone, "...people forget that I'm a legitimate singer and musician, because my depression and anxiety have overshadowed that part of me. I want people to see me for who I am, not an illness I overcame." Latanzi might not have walked away with the Mirrorball trophy, but her talent and charisma were reflected in all the fans who were truly heartbroken to see her go. Viewers quickly hit up the Dancing with the Stars official Instagram, with one commenting, "...no! I will miss watching you too." Well done. They freak out, and it makes me feel good. I'm like, oh, you haven't forgotten me. As her fans know, Olivia Newton-John fought breast cancer since the early 1990s. And because of the serious illness, she began to work out plans for the future of her family, especially in the case that she was no longer with them. According to Woman's Day, Newton-John didn't fear what the future might hold. But she did have concerns for her daughter. As an insider close to the family explained, the hardest thing for Olivia isn't the thought of dying, but leaving Chloe behind, fragile and virtually alone in the world. This causes her the most grief and torment. So, while Newton John had already worked to set Latanzi up financially for the future, she also wanted to ensure that someone would look out for her daughter emotionally, someone who felt like family. And for that, the icon looked to her good friend and former Grease co-star John Travolta to take on the role. The source added, She's asked John to pledge to be that person. He didn't blink an eye and said, "...of course." Olivia Newton-John was first diagnosed with breast cancer back in 1992, and by 2013, the cancer had returned and metastasized to her shoulder. Sadly, in 2017, the disease returned for a third time, according to Yahoo. And tragically, on August 8, 2022, the beloved legend's husband, John Easterling, took to Facebook to announce that Olivia had died that morning at the age of 73, surrounded by loved ones. Just two months before her mother's death, Latanzi posted a photo of herself and her mom to Instagram with what now seems like a bittersweet message. She wrote, "...always and forever, Mama. I got you. I see you. I will walk with you to the ends of the earth, no questions asked." Following Easterling's announcement on August 8th, Latanzi shared a series of photos of herself with her mom on Instagram. No captions needed. And the following day, she took to Instagram once more, sharing a video of the mother-daughter duo recording their song, Window in the Wall. Latanzi captioned the post, "...you are my lighthouse, Mama. My safe place. My heart space. You are an angel on Earth, and everyone touched by you has been blessed. I love you forever, my life-giver, my teacher, my Mama." She's just the most beautiful being and has a huge heart and um, great compassion and understanding. Our hearts go out to the family and friends of Olivia Newton-John, and we remember the many lives she touched with her brilliant light. If you or anyone you know is struggling with addiction issues, help is available. Visit the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration website, or contact SAMHSA's National Helpline at 1-800-662-HELP-4357.